This is too bright. Better? Are you working? <sighs> I'm cold. Okay. Hello and welcome to my bed. It is actually a different day and I'm actually drinking a different thing and wearing a different thing. I filmed that intro a couple days ago and then right when I was gonna start filming, my apartment started flooding. So that was a good time. Super fun, wonderful. So they had to come in and like put a bunch of fans everywhere, which was weird. <laughs> I have a eight hour long recording session today. So I'm not drinking coffee, I'm actually drinking Tea, which I don't know why I had to literally show you for you to believe me. I can't drink coffee. One, because coffee makes me super jittery and super nervous about everything for no reason. Um, so that's not good. And also two, for some reason, coffee makes my voice super scratchy and I'm not really sure why. I don't know if it's just me or I don't know if it's just the coffee that I'm drinking, but it makes me sound very hoarse. So I'm drinking tea with a lot of honey in it and I'm ready to sing my little heart out today in the studio. One of the things I probably get asked the most on a daily basis is how do I write music? And if I'm gonna be real honest, I don't know. I don't really understand how the music comes out of my face. It just does. It's just something I've always done. I don't really get it, but I get asked this question a lot and I thought I would kind of go into depth of my songwriting process. I've done a video like this before, but I don't really remember what I said in it and it was a long time ago. And my songwriting process has changed a bit in the past couple years. Songwriting is a very complex thing that kind of makes like no sense to me. I'm not gonna sit here and claim that I know how to write songs because I don't, but you guys asked, I am going to try to help maybe some people figure it out. It's very confusing. I don't understand it. This video may be absolutely not helpful. Helpful, I can't even speak in the slightest. <sighs> Mm -hmm. I wrote this down on my phone because I knew that it was gonna be really confusing and I don't even think what I wrote down even makes any sense. I'm gonna start off by saying songwriting is a very abstract thing. Like conceptually, what is a song? I tend to write songs in a certain format, which is usually verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge, and then chorus again. That's just kind of what I do. It's what most pop songs are like. I love pop music, so I tend to write in this format, but there's no right way to write a song, just like there's no right way to paint a picture. You know, songwriting is an art form and it, everyone does it differently. And my process is weird and different and changes all the time and so does everyone else's. So don't expect your way of writing songs to be the same as mine or don't expect your way to be wrong just because it's not like mine. I'm a firm believer that everyone can write songs, but I truly believe that it's impossible to teach someone how to write a song. I think it's possible to learn how to write a song, but I don't think someone can like sit there and be like, this is how you write a song because it's so foreign that like it just, that just doesn't make sense. I think that anyone can learn how to write songs, but it's something you kind of have to like learn within yourself, which makes it sound so intimidating. Songwriting is a very complex thing, but it's not necessarily a hard thing to do. This video already sounds ridiculously introspective, but it's not really, it's, I, I don't even, ah, uh, whatever, <laughs> stupid. Step one, beginning little tune. That is what I wrote on my phone. Maybe these notes probably aren't gonna help. I'm going to be using a song of mine named Idle Town, which is my most popular song, in order to kind of reference so that you guys can know an example and you guys will know the lyrics and know how it goes so that maybe it makes a little more sense to you. Oh, I was re apparently recording an audio file. Cool. <laughs> it always starts out with a kind of little tune of some sort. How this tune comes into my mind is what I really don't understand. I'm sure there's a lot of science behind it, but I don't know it. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and act like I know it, I really don't. But it always starts out with just a little something that pops into my head for some reason. I began writing the song Idle Town in the shower and I distinctly remember singing, this town will never change. And then from there, it just kept going and the whole song kind of like flew out of my head and into my phone while I was showering. That little part where you just kind of come up with something, I think everyone does it and you don't realize that everyone does it. My family knows that growing up I used to always make songs for everything, but they weren't like full 
flushed songs that had bridges and pre-choruses and stuff. It was just little stuff. I used to sit in the shower and sing all the labels on the shampoo bottles and I'd like make songs out of them. And this was when I was like maybe eight or nine and it's kind of just something I've always done. And I think it's something that everyone does. I don't think I'm a special case at all. I think everyone kind of makes little songs, but I don't think that everyone realizes that when you do that weird thing where you just like make a little jingle for something, that it's actually how you write a song. That's the beginning parts of writing a whole song. Take any object, for example, a cup. I could make a whole song about this cup, but it would usually just start out with me just being like, cup, cup, there is a cup. It just kind of starts out that way. You can try this with any object or anything. It's something that for some reason your brain just does. I think everyone's brain does it. You just have to be able to really believe in yourself that you can turn that little snippet into a whole song. And that's something that I think just takes a lot of practice. I usually start out with choruses. I usually just do, but I started out Idle Town on a verse and it just kind of happens differently. That's the part that I really can't explain. It just happens and for me in particular, or it happens really, really fast. So I'll start singing something that pops into my head and then I'll usually just end up singing a whole song. It'll just kind of all happen. So basically the whole song is written within like three or four minutes. It's pretty fast. It just kind of like, it just like spills out of my face. And then I always try to record it into my phone because I will forget. And lyrics just kind of come out of thin air and kind of like just make sense for some reason. Usually when I'm in this process, I just kind of sing gibberish if I don't know what the lyrics are gonna be. That way I can just get kind of like the tune of the song out of my body and onto something that I can look back onto. So the first drafts of most of my songs are just me going like It's just kind of noises and then then once I have the whole structure of a song, I go back into this process where I write on top of it. This is the part that takes a long time. It's almost analytical in a sense that it's kind of me going back onto these tunes and thinking like what words fit into this. It takes forever for me to go back and like be like, do I want to use and or the. This is when the real nitty gritty happens and all the lyrics have to like fit in perfectly and it's like a puzzle. I really enjoy that process. I think it's really fun because you can come up with like really smart solutions. That's probably my favorite part of songwriting is the part where I like get to play with words. If you ever get stuck on a certain word or a certain little thing, totally look up rhyme zone. That's where I find rhyming words all the time and they have this setting where you can do near rhymes because with music, you don't necessarily have to have perfect rhymes. You just have to kind of make words seem like they rhyme by singing them a certain way. So when I'm like super stuck on a lyric, I'll just look up rhymes and sometimes one word will like write a whole song for me. Also thesauruses help a lot if you are looking for a certain meaning of a word, but you can't find one that rhymes. Thesauruses are great. Anything when it comes to writing helps with songwriting because it really is just kind of like poetry in a sense. That part takes a long time and it usually takes weeks. I write the whole song in like five minutes, but then I spend weeks kind of going over and being like, do I really want to use the word moon or would I rather use the word tune? or something. When it comes to spilling that tune out of your face though in the beginning, you just have to go with your gut instinct and I think that your gut instinct gets better the more songs you write. I never write my songs on an instrument. I usually just write songs into thin air and then later I add guitar onto it. Knowing how to play an instrument is really helpful because then you know what chords are supposed to be with certain notes that you're singing and stuff like that. It's actually incredible how many songs you can write only knowing like three or four chords on a guitar. You can write thousands and thousands of songs. <laughs> but I never do the thing where I like sit down and hold my guitar and I'm like, I'm gonna write a song. That just doesn't work for me. I can't do it. It really stifles my creativity because I'm really limited by like what chords progress right and stuff like that. And I end up coming out with all these boring songs that are just not like special in the slightest. So for me, I write songs almost exactly like this where I'm just sitting here and then I just start singing something and then later I add guitar on top of that. I encourage anytime that you have one of those like little ideas or random tunes that pops into your head, record it into your phone. I have like, I don't even know, hundreds, maybe thousands of 
clips of me singing little tunes that pop into my head. I say I probably start three or four songs a day, um, just with little things that pop into my head, and then whatever sticks is usually what I end up kind of completing throughout the week. The thing about songwriting is there's really no cheat codes and there's no tricks. There's no real ways to just kind of like fake it and bypass the process of just spending many, many, many years of your life trying to write songs. I've been like writing full songs now for about four, maybe five years now. And I'm so far from like a master of it. I'm so far from really knowing what I'm doing. I go into the studio every day and question like, is this song even any good? Why am I doing this? <laughs> Why do I expect anyone to listen to this? But it's definitely something that just takes a long time, just like any other artistic craft. It just takes a long time. Don't expect to write good songs right off the bat. I wrote some pretty dang bad songs in my life. And I still write some very bad songs every once in a while, and I'm like, wow, didn't know I was it was even possible for me to write a song that bad, but here we are. For me, songwriting was never ever a thing that I did consciously. Writing music in general has always just kind of been something I've done instinctually out of this kind of necessity. My brain makes no sense to me and I never really know what's going on around me and I never really know how to handle my emotions and I have a lot of emotions all the time and songwriting for me has always just kind of been my way of processing it. I don't songwrite with the intention of showing my music to anybody. I don't songwrite with the intention of making an album or anything. I songwrite just because it's what I have to do. It's my way of journaling in a way. It's it's kind of like a diary entry. And if I don't write music, then I don't know what's going on inside my brain. It takes me writing a song to be like, oh, so that's what I was feeling. I didn't really know what I was feeling, but now that it's out in the song that I just wrote, that makes sense. And I didn't know that that was hurting me so much until I started writing about it. And I didn't know that that thing made me so happy until I started writing about it. I think you kind of have to have the right intentions. If songwriting is like laborious to you, and if you're doing it because you like want people to listen to your music, then you're gonna be very disappointed because no one listened to my music in the beginning. No one cared. I mean, why would they care? <laughs> I think if you want to write music, you should just write music for you. And you'll end up finding that the music that you do write for yourself is always the music that ends up relating to people anyways, because humans are very unique, complex creatures, but we kind of all do have the same problems. We have really similar problems. And I think something that's personal to you really ends up being personal to other people as well. I don't really know if this video helped in the slightest, but I kind of wanted to more explain my songwriting process to maybe give you guys an idea of what I do. And I guarantee that practically all of you could write a song if you really tried. It's just you have to notice that when you do that weird thing where you make jingles out of stuff or when you start humming random tunes or whistling stuff that makes no sense. That is what songwriting is. That's what turns into a song. You just have to kind of figure out how to structure it in a way that has a pattern. Patterns are usually what kind of helps the brain understand like, oh, this is a song, not just random sounds. <laughs> If you have any more questions about songwriting, feel free to ask them in the comments below because I get the question, how do you write songs all the time? But I know there's a lot more questions and more specific questions that you probably want me to answer and I don't really know what they are. So if there's anything specific that you really want to know about, feel free to ask me. I'll try my best to put it into words, but it's a very confusing process and I don't understand it at all. I'm definitely not the best person to ask because I just really don't understand it. When I write music, it just kind of happens, but I think that it can just kind of happen to anyone. I think that everyone has it within them. I still am learning every single day. I still don't even really know if I'm good at songwriting. I'm hopeful that people will like the music that I'm working on right now, but who really knows, you know? It's just a really complicated thing, and I don't even know what the definition of a good song is. Music is music, and if you like it, then you like it. And when it comes to songwriting, I think if the song has meaning to you, that's kind of all that really matters. <laughs> I'm going to go record some music that I wrote like a year ago, which is really weird, and it's going to be released in like months from now. It's just so foreign, and it's because of you guys that I'm even recording this music. So thank you for listening to my crazy weird thoughts that make no sense. I couldn't have done anything in my whole entire life without you guys, so <laughs> there's really no way to express my gratitude.
because this is what I wanted to do. All I ever wanted to do was write music, so now I get to do that and I feel like a lucky lil lad. I feel so <laughs> grateful. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna not cry. Not gonna do that. I'll leave that for later. I will see you guys in a week with a brand new video. God bless and goodbye. Pew.